Hey everyone, today we're comparing a $5 cowbell with a $515 one. Before we dive into the reasons behind the price difference, let's take a listen to them. We'll start with the $5 one. First thing I notice is it's a little light on the harmonic overtones. The sound seems a little bit frail, which I think would come through as a detriment in the final mix of a song. It feels a little bit cheap, and quite frankly, it's lacking in the tone that I look for when I'm cowbelling. Okay, and now let's look at the $515 one. Wow, listen to that dynamic range. Right off the bat, it just, it plays really well. This thing oozes craftsmanship and quality. I can hear the full range of the harmonic spectrum with this one. The slightest nuances bouncing around the bell. The sound is highly versatile and could truly be the difference maker in any song you play, from jazz to metal to classical. This may be the perfect cowbell for any player, from beginner to intermediate, all the way to the virtuosos. Okay, let's look at the specs here. This first one I got in the discount bin at my local music store. Nothing overly fancy about it. Our fancy one was actually a pretty good deal. I paid $515 for it as part of a promotion where I received a $500 gift certificate with the purchase. So there you have it, a $5 cowbell versus a $515 one. I'm gonna leave you guys with a quote. Christoph Waltz famously said in that classic Mad TV sketch, I've got a cowbell, and the only prescription, more 